everyone, Kathy here, and I thought I would share with you my uh, birthday present to myself. <laughs> and uh, I thought, I started this before I thought about doing a video, so you have to pardon me. But I thought it'd be fun to share my building a terrarium. I've always wanted a terrarium. And I saw one of our local gift shops here um, had these for sale. They had this shape and they also had a smaller based one but was a little taller and I thought, oh, I can fit more plants in this one. So this is the one I got. And I bought some plants to go with it also. This is a experiment for me. So some of these plants, who knows, they may not do well. Others, they may do well. Um, but it's something I wanted to try. What I did was this doesn't have drainage in it, being it is a glass vessel. It's got the bamboo base and this just sits in top. So what I did was I washed some LECA and I filled this bottom part with the washed LECA last night. And then I added these uh, like river rocks on the top and I bought these um, at our local uh, Home Depot, uh, hopefully you can see that. There we go. Um, they're a just a river rock mixture and uh, very tiny stones. Excuse my reach. Um, but you can see they're very small. So I, I layered, I don't know, half an inch to an inch on top of the LECA with these stones. And then I took some, uh, it's like screen door fabric, very fine mesh. I cut a circle out to roughly fit inside. And that keeps the soil or most of the soil from washing down into the gravel bed. So you can see I'm just kind of tucking this down on top just to get it to hopefully fit fairly well because I don't want a lot of this showing. And uh, and then we're gonna we're gonna get started here. I've got activated charcoal in this bag and I'm gonna put a layer down on top. Now this is supposed to help filter the water as it's going through the plants and the soil. So what I'm gonna do is just, I'm gonna pour this in the opening here. And then I'm gonna take this tool and spread it around just to, you see this is gonna hold that screen down. It's kind of spreading it all over and I'm gonna add the rest in there and just kind of evenly distribute it across that mesh fabric like so. And that way, your hands don't get too dirty. So that's our, our filtering layer. And now we can put some of uh, our soil in. And what I have for soil is a very well draining soil. It's kind of a mix of orchid bark, perlite, I've got some sphagnum moss, and regular potting soil, cactus mix. It's kind of like a, just like I said, a regular well draining mix and so we'll put a thin layer of this in because then i'm going to do something else so let's see just kind of spread that around and we'll put some more in i hope i made enough of this mix for what i want to do I think I did because you don't want to fill it too tall or you're going to not have room for your plants okay so I think that 
this is pretty well covered like so okay now time to get creative <laughs> I had my glue gun out because what I wanted to do with this is have a smaller area in here that's that's raised up a little bit higher so what I did was took some of my rocks that I also excuse me purchased at Home Depot these are a bigger rock mix and uh, I thought I'll build like a retaining wall so some of them I kind of took my glue gun and glued together just to kind of help hold it in place so what I'm gonna do is just kind of place these around uh, Hopefully, yeah, you can see me. I'm starting over here. And I'm gonna take my next little section like that. And the, the glue isn't holding them super well, but it's holding them well enough for when I plant. And there we go. I'm just kind of set them there. And it's kind of created a, a bit of a wall here. So I might take some of these and just kind of tuck in and rearrange. These are beautiful stones. Some of them have a really high polish. Um, look at this one. This one's really pretty. Um, but let's see. Just kind of... No, that one's a little too small, but maybe I can tuck this one in. But see what I mean? How they they move around. Anyway, we'll see. We'll see how that does. So and now I have to somehow get soil over there. <laughs> so I want to fill up that that little section. Let's see what I can do. Maybe I'll do it by hand. Whoops, time to make a mess. Unfortunately, I can't get this little, or can I? Nope. Can't get that little container in there. Boy, what a mess she's making, eh? There, now maybe you can see what I'm doing. And a lot of this will get cleaned off, rinsed off with uh, water when I water the plants. So anyway, you get the gist. And maybe put like a little bit more in here. There we go. Okay. So, that is kind of what I wanted as far as raising it up a little, having like a little rock wall. Because what I want is to get some smaller plants up here, maybe some that will kind of trail down over the wall. Um, we'll see how that goes. Now for plants, I kind of have an assortment let me get some of these rocks out of the way so you can see maybe <laughs> maybe I have a succulent here and we'll see like I said these are going to be kind of um, an experiment to see what works um, but these plants I've all I've rescued from Home Depot. I call them rescue because they really are not a like a garden store per se, having experts on hand usually. But I had to look them up because as you see, maybe, the labels do not say exactly what the plant is. It will say succulent, it'll say tropical, <clears throat> excuse me, but it won't say exactly what the plant is. So I kind of looked them up using my camera on um, Google Lens, I think it is. And this one said it was a Crisula ovata, um, like a golem jade plant. 
So that one I'm going to be planting. The next one I have here is a spider plant and those are supposed to do quite well in terrariums so we shall see. I have this Peperomia piccolo and look at the foliage. Isn't that interesting foliage? Almost looks like you know a, a larger watermelon Peperomia. And then I have another Peperomia here. This is a, a red log or red bark Peperomia verticillata. And look at the underside of these leaves. They are fantastically red. And then you have some really nice veining on the top of the leaves. I should also mention that all these plants are like bone dry. You could tell they haven't been watered on a good schedule. Um, what I'm also going to do is possibly break some of these apart and plant them in different areas. Like this one, I'm sure I can get different pieces off of it and plant them. I'm also maybe going to cut them down a little shorter so and knock off some of the soil because I don't want to plant this whole thing. I might take half the soil off and go from there. I also am not sure if I'll plant this one, but this is one of my uh, Hartley philodendron uh, babies. And uh, I've been growing it in LECA here. Actually, it was in water, and then I moved it to LECA. But I might put this in, depending on how much room I have. And I also, I don't have them here. We'll see how this goes. But I have some little uh, string of turtles. I have... What else do I have? Um, a Calicia repens uh, pink panther. Then I might put a piece of that in here as well. Um, we're just gonna kind of see how it goes. And, uh, and, and yeah, we'll see how it goes. But it's kind of an experiment, like I said. Um, first thing is to kind of, we're gonna try and decide where we wanna put things. And I'm thinking I'm thinking, thinking, I'll start here and we'll see what we have as far as a plant to work with. Um, I'm gonna break it apart here. Let me move things out of the way and scoot this back. So I'm gonna take this out of the pot and we're gonna kind of take this See, look, that's all soil there, really, pretty much. I'm just kind of lightly teasing some of the soil out of here. And we'll see if I have one plant here, possibly, maybe two. I'm not sure. Sometimes they have what's called the, um, oh, what do they call it? the sleeve of death or something, like a little mesh cloth um, sleeve that they grow these in. I don't feel that on this one. This is all soil and roots. So you see how much soil I took off of there. And yes, some of the leaves are falling. Like I said, this is in dire need of a good watering but these plants were only like $4 from Home Depot. So I think we're just gonna go with one here. And it's kind of got a little bit of a curve. I might set that into the glass along a curved, oops, take that out of there, along a curved area. And we're just gonna kind of wiggle it in there, like so, right next to this side of the wall. And I'm gonna kind of backfill with some of that soil. I have to say also that when I rinsed the LECA, put the gravel in yesterday, and then I put the ball on the top, and when I checked it this morning, even though there was no water in there, it was just the wet LECA, it was very warm and humid in here. So I can tell this is really going to work pretty well. So okay, we've tucked our little peperomia in there. And it's time to decide what next. I think I will do the spider plant. 
next. And I'll, maybe I'll put it on the other side. So let's see what we have here. Oh my goodness, look at the roots. I'm going to try and get some of the soil off of here. And I think these are pretty resilient from what I remember. I had spider plants years ago. I'm going to take as much as I can off of here. This is all dry. Look, it's just flaking away. And actually, may cut these longer, oops, these longer roots off. So it's going to be a little bit traumatized, but I think it'll do okay. What is that? That's like a bulbous. Maybe we'll leave that on because that might turn into another plant. But we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to tuck it over on the other side. Over here, I think. Let me see how it does. Oops. And maybe. Hmm. Okay, it's a little scrunched. Maybe I'll put this one in the middle here. And give it a little more room. Cover it up with some soil. Like so. Like that. Very pretty. Love the different texture going on there. Love it. And you know, I don't think I'm going to get this whole plant in there. Let me see what we've got here. Oh my gosh, look at just how bone dry this is. I may put, I may put this, oops, in uh, another container, uh, the other section, I might put in another container, grow it separately, but look at this, this is like crunchy, bone dry, and I think I'm going to give it a haircut back to a leaf node, maybe just cut the tips off just to make it a little smaller oh, come here all tangled around so we're starting with a, a little smaller of a plant and I think this one I'm going to put up on the top up here so we'll give it a little wiggle in here Get it down in the dirt and I wish I had like the hands of a six-year-old <laughs> but uh, anyway this is this is good so we're gonna leave that one there I'm hoping these do well I really am uh, let's see. We'll turn back around. We'll get rid of this. We'll not get rid of it, but, uh, and then I think I'm going to put this little guy in the front. And like I said, look at just how crunchy, crunchy, crunchy bone dry it is. Hopefully I don't break any of him off. get down in there. I may have to add some more soil. In fact, I think I do. Let's so get some more of my soil here. And just grab a handful. And try to push it around here. Not the easiest uh, place to work in. I should have, aren't I graceful? I should have uh, put that spider plant in last because it's getting very dirty, but we'll wash it off. Actually, you know what I can do? I'll take this and hold it back. And 
maybe that'll help a little. Okay, so what kind of wiggle? A little more soil in there. Okay, so we've got our our little jade there in the front. I'm glad I didn't buy any more plants for this, really. This this is They're really going to need a good water. Okay, so what else next? Let me wipe this glass off. In the front. So kind of see some of the soil off the leaves here. I'm hoping things really perk up once they get watered. Okay, so next, what shall we do? I think, yeah, I'm gonna take this little, little guy and you can see, you see the roots that have grown. So we're gonna tuck him in the front to keep an eye on it. Just right down in there. Bury them up like so. And that gave him a cute little place to live. Right there. And that's pretty good. So now I think over here, I'm going to go grab my Calicia and maybe put it over here. So I'm going to put you just on pause for a quick second, and we'll be right back. All right, so I'm back, and here I have a piece of my Calicia, and actually it's a couple pieces here. So what I'm going to do is kind of tuck these in different spots. I'm going to put one here and kind of make some room. Now these have roots. And we will see, maybe I'll put two of them together there. I have another little one here. I'm just kind of pressing them down to the soil and flicking a little bit of the soil on top. Not too, not too tightly. And I think I'll come over here maybe and put this one, like maybe right in here. And kind of make a little divot in the soil and put that one in there and then bury it back up and just kind of lay it down there we'll see we'll see how they do I had all these grand plans of putting in a whole bunch of stuff in here but I'm really thinking less is more now, what I want to do, oh, I don't know. I want to put some gravel in here. I have this white gravel that I also purchased at Home Depot. It's very small pea gravel. And I think maybe if I do this little by little, I can just add a little bit here and there just to kind of hold the soil down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to lay gravel around and we'll be right back when I'm done with that and we'll get this watered in. Okay, so I'm all done tucking in gravel around the bed and then I also added if you could see them, some little decorative rocks to the top. And now I'm going to water it in. So I've got my little watering can here. What I have here is it's regular tap water, but I let it sit out in a jug uncovered for like 24 hours to let any kind of chlorine evaporate out. Um, that's what I've read to do. That's how I water my plants, all of them. So uh, anyway, I've got that and I just added a little bit of Schultz liquid plant food. And I'm just going to kind of try and 
water in and if it runs down the inside that's fine also oops hopefully hitting most of these plants that, that need the water and as the water runs down the inside it also cleans the inside of the glass so any dirt that may have gotten on there gets rinsed down as well and you don't want to fill it tons full with water you just want to get enough there that uh, your plants get watered like you don't want to fill up the entire bar bottom of the gravel so a little bit more down this side and turn it once more oops and go down this side all right so i think that's pretty good and hopefully they'll pep up nicely <laughs> during the day here hopefully and then this particular um terrarium came with this a wooden ball as a stopper and so we put that on you kind of try to find the the position where it's going to seal it the most and uh so here we go whoops it was my light but you see in the end we've got our beautiful terrarium set up with a stopper on the top and uh wish me luck now this is going to go in my living room um, I'm not putting it in a window because with this being stopped up, if you put it in a place where it's going to get like tons of direct sunlight and heat, all you're going to do is turn this into an oven and it's going to cook your plants and uh, they'll die pretty quickly. So what I'm doing is I'm putting it on our coffee table, which is about six to eight feet from our south facing window. It's a very bright living room but it won't be in direct sunlight so I'm gonna see how it does there and uh, you know I'll let you know I will post updates over on my Instagram so if you don't follow me on Instagram you can head over there and uh, once in a while I'll do an update like when this peps up hopefully I'll post pictures again of everything kind of springing back to life hopefully some things may not make it like i said it's an experiment so we shall see um how well it does and uh, i'm just trying to find a good spot for this lid to sit and i think that's it anyway um thank you for joining me on my uh, terrarium experiment and uh, like i said follow me over on instagram at catjamison30 um I'll put the link in the video and uh, oops you can see how this baby does when I post some updates but it looks pretty good I think I have just the right amount of plants in here um, I'm gonna pot up the rest of that other peperomia this one and uh, maybe grow a big basket out of that so anyway We'll see how that does. But I think it looks really good. And uh, it will look really nice on my coffee table. In fact, I'll go sit it there now so you can take a look and see how it looks. And here we are. You can see I've set it on our coffee table where I could admire it all day. And uh, it looks really good, I think. So I'm going to monitor the uh, condensation they say if it stays uh, extremely uh, like tons of condensation all day long that you should remove the stopper and let some of that water evaporate but we'll keep an eye on it for the next little while and we'll see how it does 
So, like I said, follow me on Instagram and I'll do some updates for you. Until then, you guys take care and uh, thanks for watching my little terrarium experiment. Bye for now.